Hello and welcome back to another Escape the Backrooms guide video. In this video, we'll be walking through how to escape the Lassophobia, the Cave System, Level 188, Level 9, and Level 10. Let's begin. To escape the Lassophobia, you have to do a few things. First, you need to make your way to a lighthouse across the map. To do this, simply get in a rowboat and start rowing. As you row, you'll pass multiple houses, some with supplies, so be sure to gather the supplies as needed. As you get closer to the lighthouse, dense fog will descend and blind you. Luckily, you can grab a flare gun at a house shown on the screen now. Use this flare gun to get an idea of where you need to go. Once you get to the lighthouse, go to the end of the pier and grab the diving helmet and put it on. Then you'll need to enter the diving cage. You will experience a short cutscene and then you'll be able to swim around to find the exit. The exit will be located in a cave surrounded by glowing barnacles. I suggest you turn your brightness up if you're having trouble seeing. Once you swim through the cave, you'll come to the next level, the cave system. The cave system is pretty straightforward. You simply need to find your way to the end. There are multiple death moths in the first part of the cave, so don't be afraid to sneak around during most of it. Eventually, you'll come across a bridge that'll take you to the second half of the cave. Sneak across the bridge to avoid it collapsing on you. Once you are across, you'll need to be on the lookout for skin stealers. There are two that like to wander this area. Simply follow the right wall and eventually you'll find the exit. Climb up the ladder to be taken to level zero? Yes, you're back at the beginning of the game, except this time you're in a brand new part of it. First, you'll need to solve a simple puzzle to get access to a brand new item. Make your way to the red room and hit the light switch. This will cause the lights to flicker and shadows to appear over the numbers in the left corner. Notate what shadow is over what number and then head to the white room. Enter in the code into the locker and you'll get access to a new item, the chainsaw. Use the chainsaw to cut down the wooden planks and beams to your right. Next, you'll need to use the chainsaw to open blocked doors and look for four switches. As you search for these switches, be sure to be on the lookout for the squiggler. He will be patrolling the area. If he finds you, you can attempt to outrun him or hide from him in a room or in vents. Once you find all four switches, you'll need to hit them one after the other. Once all four are hit, a large door will open and it'll take you to level 188 with a window looking out. Check to see which floors have lights on and then you can use that information to open the elevator at the end of the hall. This elevator will take you back down to the cave system. Simply follow the path and be taken to level 9 or the darkened suburbs. For level 9, you'll need to find three computers and activate them to unlock the meg base near the center of the map. You can use the map on the screen now to get a general idea of where to look. I found my three computers in the three houses marked safe. However, I am unsure if the location changes each time you play. Once you activate all three, head to the meg base and go inside. Make your way down to the basement. Here you'll need to get a key card off a wretch by cleansing it. When you first enter the basement, you'll see an informational video that explains the process of cleansing. All you need to do is search the area for four bottles of concentrated almond water. Once you find them, you'll need to place them in the machine in the first room and then get the wretch to chase you to said machine. You'll need to have the wretch step on the pressure plate located in the center of the room. This will cause the wretch to get caught in a trap. You'll then be able to push the shower to him and turn it on. This will cure him and allow you to take the keycard off of him. Go back upstairs and then head to the back of the map. Here you'll be able to use the keycard to enter the next level, level 10. For level 10, you'll need to activate windmills to help you locate the exit. On the screen now is a map that helped guide you from windmill to windmill. While you explore, you'll run into a new entity called Facelinks. They will be patrolling the level trying to find you. They're pretty easy to lose and not run, so you shouldn't have too hard of a time with them. Once you find the final windmill, you'll walk to a giant arcade or level 3999. Into the arcade and that's it, at least for now. Congratulations, you now know how to survive and escape a few more levels of the back rooms. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Remember, I am the administrator and be sure to always secure, contain, and protect. I'll see you next time.